How to use the magic mask tool. Today's video is sponsored by Nobody. Select your clip and go to the color page. Go to the magic mask menu. There are two modes, the object mask and the person mask. Usually the object mode is faster and the person mask is more precise. Change the quality to better if your computer is brave enough. Select the plus tool and draw a shape in your subject. Activate the toggle mask overlay so that you can see the mask. Change the mode to grow or to shrink, depending on what you want. Increase the radius a bit and increase the blur slider around 40. Increase also the denoise slider slightly. Hit the play button and let the demon do his work. If your mask is terrible like mine, you can delete the stroke, make a new one and try again. Most of the time the mask will not be perfect, so you can go through the frames, find the parts that are not right, select the minus tool, and draw a line in the part that you want to exclude from the mask. Same way choose the plus button to add a new point to include in the mask. Go through the frames and fix the areas that were not right. Once you are done, right click to the nodes window, add an alpha point, and connect the blue dot of your node to the alpha point. Go back to the edit page, and your mask is ready, but it will be heavy for your computer. To fix this, you need to right click on it, and select to render it in place. Choose a format that can contain the alpha channel. The ProRes 4444 will work fine for Mac. If you're on Windows, search which format can export the alpha channel, and use that one.